Hello and welcome to Darren's Travels. On this travel we talk about solo travel across the world if you're a guy. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about meeting people and this video is going to be for guys who are kind of like recently divorced or getting back out into the dating world or you want to do something fun with your life or something like that. Um, and then also kind of like if you're an introvert or whatever and you have a hard time meeting people. Um, that's what this video is going to be about, um, particularly when you're traveling and when you're by yourself overseas, how do you meet people? Um, you asked for this in, in the comments and so that's what I'm going to try to write, do this video about. Now, I'm no expert, but I'll just tell you what I've been doing when I've been traveling for um, 20 years solo. Um, and I'll try to stay on topic about traveling overseas by yourself because I grew up in the 90s and the 2000s, so I grew up in the nightclubs in Old Town Scottsdale and Los Angeles and Las Vegas and Miami. So um, when I talk about meeting girls and meeting people, um, I'm, I'll try not to talk about that stuff, but only my experiences when I've been overseas um, in, all the, in all the cities and things like that. So with that said though, I will say, I mean, if you're a guy, you're single, and you're trying to meet girls, American girls are a thousand times easier to meet than foreign girls. Yes, foreign girls are beautiful and everything, but um, they're not the easiest girls to talk to, to hang out with, to have fun with. Um, but with that caveat, let's, let's kind of get into it. Um, first of all, um, some people have asked me, you know, how you should dress or if you should be in shape or anything like that like to meet people and I'll just say right now it really doesn't matter all you need to do is just kind of be average um, it doesn't matter kind of like how much money you have how you dress how fit you are none of that stuff really matters when it comes to like meeting people meeting girls um, what matters the, the most essentially is kind of like you're just your presence um, how you stand, your posture. I mean, it, it's been said that 70% of a girl's attraction to you is going to be based on just your presence. The other 20% is your tone of voice, um, how you deliver it, all that. And then only 10% of, you know, meeting people is what you say. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind to start. Also, I will say that the guys who get the most girls, the guys who meet the most girls, go on the most dates and all that, all those guys have one thing in common and that's they're not afraid of rejection. Um, that's all it is. It's just, it's a numbers game. You have to swing the bat. Um, that's all it is. It's, it's just not afraid of rejection. It's, there's an old saying kind of like, if you tell me how many girls rejected you last week, I'll tell you how many dates you went on. Um, that's the kind of theory right there. So again, it just matters. All you have to do is like just try basically when it comes to meeting girls anyway. Um, but just again, if you're an introvert and like you said, you've really never met a stranger, you've never really cold approach, never um, did anything like that. Um, one of the things that I will say to kind of help or to practice, I guess, um, is to talk to everybody. Talk to like the people at the stores, people at Starbucks, people at the um, reservations counter. Um, talk to all the people, just conversation. How are you doing? How's your day? Whatever. Um, just get into that habit of being social. And then when you're overseas, or as you're overseas, I should say, um, you can use that kind of social momentum. I mean, because it really is. Once you start talking to people, it's kind of like the, the train kind of leaves the station and you kind of you, you build on that momentum. And then you can talk to people. You can go to the bars. You can go to the coffee shops. You go to everywhere and, um, and, and talk to people. And um, that's kind of how you get out of your shell is by starting in kind of like the safe places um, like I said, with the people who like have to talk to you for their profession, like the shopkeepers and all that. Um, so that's kind of like the preliminary things of, you know, just kind of getting social um, and what you need to think about when you're meeting people and um, going out. Now, particularly when I'm overseas, my day when I'm overseas by myself, and the first thing that I think about is kind of like if I'm trying to meet people, if I'm going to do it in the day or in the night. 
Um, I prefer definitely meeting girls, meeting people out at night. But I know a lot of people don't go out or don't like bars and clubs and all that. So I'll start kind of with, you know, what happens during the day when I'm overseas. Um, basically, what I'll do is I will go to like a coffee shop or the mall or like a happy hour or something like that. And I'll in order I'll just like walk down the the main city center part of the uh, of the city. And if I'm walking next to like, you know, a good looking girl or whatever, good looking foreign girl, um, I'll just say hi. And that's pretty much how I start off every interaction with with girls or whatever. Um, because in the day, it has to be kind of like socially calibrated. You can't just be like, you know, all like you can't act the same way at night pretty much as you act as, uh, it, during the day. Um, and so what you have to do is if you're going to meet somebody, um, and I'll show like a, a video here of me meeting the, these two girls in, um, in Zagreb, Croatia. Hey, girls. You guys look great. Hey, I'm from, I'm from the U.S., so I'm just visiting Croatia. Do you guys want a picture together? Both of you? Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you need photo? Oh, would you? But it has to be kind of like normal, I guess. Um, and so I'll say hi, and then I'll look for the reaction, and it's kind of like when people when girls say hi back to you you can just tell you can tell like the tone of their voice what their eyes their eyes you can tell everything about just their reaction to you saying hi on the streets and if it's a good reaction then i will say i'll give them a compliment i'll say basically um, I like your glasses, or I like your purse, or I like your style, or something, um, just to let them know that I'm attracted to them. I'm not hiding the fact that uh, you know I'm attracted to them. Something like that. It's, so it's a compliment. Um, and then a uh, same thing. Then after I say that, I'll listen to the reaction. I'll look for the reaction and see how they um, react to me. Um, and then it, it's kind of like you can tell how all all that goes right there. And if those two things happen that are good, um, then I'll ask kind of like what, you know, how's your day going or what are you up to today? Um, and I'll show kind of like a video of how it starts um, in here if, if I remember to put it in the, in the video. Hey, how's it going? Hi there. Um, it was actually, this was here in Scottsdale, but it's just kind of how you start talking to somebody. Um, and then... As I'm into the conversation, like I said, I'll say, you know, what are you up to today or how's your day going, something like that. Um, and also, when you're overseas by yourself and you stop like a girl who um, is you're in a foreign country or whatever, you can ask them, um, do you speak English? So instead of saying just hi to them, ask, you know, go up there and say, you know, excuse me, do you speak English? Um, that's a really good way to find out if a girl, a foreign girl, is interested in you because if they do speak English, well, first of all, if they say they do speak English um, and they do or they don't, again, you don't care whether they do or they don't. You just want to kind of find out if they like you because if they do, if they say they do, that means they like you. Um, and if their English is good or bad, the fact that they say they do and they're standing right there, that means that they like you. Vice versa, if they say no, they don't um, speak English, then that means that they don't really like you. Even if, the, you know, they probably do know a little bit of English, um, even if they're fluent in it, um, if they say no, that just means that they don't like you. So that's a good, like, kind of like hack um, when you're overseas when you're talking to girls, ask them if they speak English and you can find out right there kind of if they like you or not. Um, and again, you're always kind of looking at the reaction because girls make it pretty easy and pretty obvious when they're interested in you or they're just being polite or they're not interested at all. Um, another way to figure out if they are just being polite, maybe they have a boyfriend, maybe they're married, maybe something like that, but they're just being polite to you, um, is to listen to see if they ask you a question. Um, girls who are being polite, they won't ask you a question. If, they're, if they are single and they're into you um, and they're interested, they will ask you questions specifically or particularly uh, when you're overseas. They'll ask you where you're from. Um, if, a, if you meet a girl overseas anywhere and she doesn't ask you where you're from, that's a bad sign. 
um, just because, like I said, either they don't like you or they're married or whatever. And so um, that's a pretty good telltale signal if, you know, the girl is interested in you. And these are all, again, talking about if you're talking to girls during the day. Um, and like I said, whether that's in America, whether that's overseas by yourself, wherever, um, girls will make it easy if they like you. You can tell when they like you. They'll, they'll make it pretty easy. Um, and so that's kind of what I do during the day. I meet girls in the coffee shops overseas. I meet them in the malls overseas, even just kind of on the regular tourist things that, you know, you're looking at the buildings, you look at the statue, statues. Um, hell, I've met girls in the churches in uh, Belgrade, Serbia. And so, I mean, it's just kind of whenever it kind of like socially calibrated, it kind of just makes sense, you know. Um, that's how you can do it during the day. Now, with that said, I want to talk about meeting girls at night because that's the easiest way to meet girls. Um, and then when you're overseas also, um, you definitely should go out at night because that's the easiest way to, to, to meet girls. Um, so to go, when you're going out at night, when you're overseas by yourself, um, you can go to, like I said, you can go to any bar, any restaurant, um, I like to go to like the uh, rooftop lounges in every city I go to. I always check to find out if there's like a cool roo rooftop bar. Um, I'll show you a video of uh, a card in here or a video of um, the bar in Riga. It was a fantastic uh, lounge up in Riga, Latvia. Um, but I always try to find a good rooftop lounge when I go out. Um, overseas and then I, I said going out at night is a thousand times better going out like to meet girls or whatever to meet people um, at night is a thousand times better just because the girls out are kind of in the meeting guys mood um, they're not during the day and so in the nighttime it's kind of like that's kind of what they're there for um, and if I mean not to overstate it but more chances than not, if you're gonna, if a girl's out to meet a guy, she's gonna be out at night drinking and partying and all that. Um, so I love the nighttime because again, it's just so much more. It makes more sense, I guess, um, to chat up girls. And so um, I'll go to one of those bars. I'll go to the rooftop. I'll go to a bar, or whatever, and I'll sit down at the bar if I can. If there's a couple girls sitting at the bar, I'll try to sit next to them, not directly next to them, but one seat in between. Um, and then eventually start talking to them, just, you know, ask how their day going. Or, again, when you're overseas, ask them if they speak English. Um, that's a fantastic way. And then I'll sit there for like a uh, uh, drink or two, essentially. And I think I, I read an a, a old book. I think it's called, um, what is it? Uh, Surely You're Joking, Dr. Feynman, I think it is. And basically in that book, he says, if you sit in a bar long enough, something good is going to happen. And that is true. Um, and so, like I said, I always try to sit in a bar for 30, 45 minutes. Um, if nothing's going on, then I'll leave. But I always try to give it a good college try. Um, and so, again, if you can meet girls there, that's a fantastic place. Um, I will say something about alcohol. Um, I know some people don't like to drink, and I totally get that. Um, but I do think um, if you do drink, I think it's worth having a couple drinks anyway. First of all, don't get too drunk. Don't ever get drunk when you're overseas by yourself because it's just not safe. You know, you get take advantage of by girls or, guy, or guy, anybody, whoever. Um, so don't ever get sloppy drunk when you're overseas by yourself. Um, again, I just have to say that. But always, but I always have like one or two drinks just to kind of take the edge off. Um, and it's easier for me to talk to girls at the bars. Um, and now you might think that that is a crutch or that is a problem, you know, having alcohol to talk to girls. But I'll just say from my experience and my opinion is that, um, you know, talking to girls, talking to strange girls is hard. Um, you have guys who I know friends who are UFC fighters. I know guys who went off to war in Iraq and came back and, you know, some of the toughest guys um, that you ever want to meet. And they can't cold approach a strange girl in the mall or they can't walk up to a girl that they don't know um, in a coffee shop and start a conversation. And so that you know, meeting strange people, meeting girls is, is hard. So if you need some, a little bit of alcohol to loosen up and to, you know, open your mouth and start talking to girls, to, to girls you've never met, 
do it. And, and like I said, that's what I do. But, you know, obviously keep that in moderation. Um, I, I met these girls in Romania back uh, th- over the summer, and they were sitting over at some lounge in, in, on some chairs or whatever, some sofas up in the, on the rooftop bar lounge there in uh, Bucharest. And I just walked over to them. I said, I, you know, I forgot what I said. I think I said, I, you know, I think this is random, but I just want to tell you that you have like fantastic hair or something like that. I think that's what was my, my first line to them. And I listened again to their reaction and they were totally down. They were, you know, they asked me where I was from. Uh, one of the girls didn't speak English, but the next, you know, I spent the next two hours with them um, for the night in Romania all by myself. I started it all by myself um and in there we're still friends to this day and so um that's part of it but again part of it's because of you know the couple drinks that i had um and i went over and talked you know talked to these girls so so that's at night i completely believe in you know meeting girls at night um i'm not a big fan of meeting girls during the day just because, it, again, it just doesn't make sense to me. But I know some people don't like to go out to bars. They don't like staying out in clubs until 3 in the morning. I totally understand that. Um, but that's kind of my take on how to, you know, how to meet girls when you're overseas um, by yourself. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Again, I'm not an expert in meeting people by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and especially now, because like I said, I grew up in the bar, in the clubs and bars of in the 90s and the 2000s. And things are a little different now with social media and all that. But nevertheless, I can tell you like what I do, uh, like what I just did a couple months ago in uh, Romania. And so, but again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope that helps. Um, and thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I have more uh, videos like this. All right. Thanks.